Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's August 1st, 2023, and today we're talking stamps. We're continuing with uh, my father's collection. Uh, I originally started with the first stamps that he had uh, that came out at the time, and uh, he kept them in Unity binders, so I was able to even show some of the stamps that he didn't have. They just had images of them. And then we went all the way through to the end of those Unity binders where he started to collect the yearly albums that came out. And this year we're at 2015. This is the yearly album that came out. You can see it just slides out like so. You can see some of the stamps on the back. And we're going to go through page by page and see what is in this book. So hopefully you enjoy this. Um, it's been about a month since I've done one of these. So it's time to get back into doing some stamp videos again. And uh, if you enjoy it, like, subscribe, and uh, leave me a comment. I uh, always love to hear uh, anything positive that you guys have to say about the collection, about the stamps, things that maybe you're collecting as well, and uh, insights too. I don't know everything. I, I know very little actually. So uh, it is great when someone who has knowledge about a certain topic uh, gives a little bit of information on it. It helps out a lot. It helps uh, in increase the knowledge of the whole society, of the whole uh, community of stamps that are watching because uh, we have people from beginners to experts that, that watch and uh, people that have been in philately um, a short period of time to uh, doing it in their whole lives. So it's great to be able to build on that wealth of knowledge. That's one of the great things about YouTube and uh, these societies is that uh, we as a community get to uh, come together and share the experiences that we have, share our collections that we have and uh, get a chance to see some things that maybe we, we haven't seen before. Maybe you're from a faraway country and never seen Canadian stamps, and that's why you tune in. Uh, maybe you're here in Canada and uh, you've just started stamp collecting, or maybe you've been stamp collecting your whole life and have some insights on uh, the do's and don'ts of stamp collecting. You can always leave it in the comments, and then maybe it will inspire me to do a video about something you've said. I've done that in the past too. Anyways, let's get to the stamps that have come out in 2015. Starts off with a very nice cover. You may know some of these personalities that are on here um, and uh, we'll get to know them inside. Always a little celebration message in there. And the beginning of the year always starts with the New Year stamp, the Chinese New Year. So this is the $2.50 stamp that came out at the time. And there is the, for, not the forever stamp, but uh, the uh, domestic rate stamp. The Visionary. So here we're looking at Sir John A. Macdonald, Canada's first prime minister. He had some flaws too. And there you can see the uh, Fathers of Confederation on the steps in Charlottetown. And this is the Sir John A. Macdonald stamp that came out at the time. Canadian Inspirations. Here you can see Nelson Mandela. Not a Canadian, but an inspiration to many Canadians, that's for sure. Some beautiful images. You can see him there with the uh, Governor General at the time, Nelson Mandela in our House of Commons, and the sheet of um, commemorative sheet that came out there. You can see my father's put a uh, well, that's his uh, the uh, domestic rate stamp and then the international rate stamp at the time. And then here, true patriot love. Always some sort of a inspirational story about why the stamp has come out. You can see there's a Canadian flag on the side of a building. And you can see the Canadian flag pulled across the snow there. And then the souvenir sheet here. A $5 stamp, commemorative anniversary of the flag. And then the, the domestic rate stamp there. That's a big stamp. And then we have the florals. A flower for all seasons. You can see there were two that came out here. My father's also included two that have been cancelled. So you've got the commemorative sheet and then two singles. From historic to modern. 
photography has existed for less than 200 years, but even in that relatively short period of time, artists using photographies as their medium have created compelling and evolving body of work that portrays the people, places, and events around us as unique original light. So here we are celebrating photography and the photographers that have captured these moments. You can see there's several of the images. And then here is the 150 years of photography stamps that came out. Those. And then of those ones. Dinosaur Wonderland. How many of you are into dinosaurs or your children are into dinosaurs? Maybe you're a Jurassic World, Jurassic Park movie watcher. You can see these images, you know exactly what they are. You know, the T-Rex. Why do we have dinosaur? Because we have dinosaur stamps. These were really cool because look, they went outside the normal uh, square stamp. They're just bursting through, love that, especially the T-Rex. That's uh, probably my favorite of that set. The golden rule, okay. Dog lovers, animal lovers, pet lovers. Look at these wonderful ones. Big stamps, cats, dogs. Lovely, lovely big stamps. Nice bunny. Between the crosses, row one row, we have the Remembrance Day stamp, Flanders Fields. The poppy. And there is the issued Flanders Field poppy that year in 2015. And then we have soccer, FIFA. What was great about showing that here today is that uh, the Women's World Cup is happening right now. Unfortunately, Canada just got eliminated. So it wasn't what we expected going into the tournaments, but that's what live sports is all about. You never know what's going to happen. And as other teams catch up, uh, it makes it more difficult to, to stay on top. Canada's wonders in weather. We certainly have seen lots of fog down here with the humidity. We're not ready for snow again, and luckily it won't be here for a while. There looks like Prince Edward Island and the double rainbows. And here are the stamps that came out showing lightning, rainbows, mist. Beautiful stamps. Treasured space. National parks. Waterton Glacier International Peace Park in Alberta. Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta. And this is something maybe you, when you think of Canada, you don't think of deserts, uh, but we've got them here too. And here are the Provincial Park stamps that are represented. UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Canada. You can see you've got the dollar twenty rate stamp, and you've also got the two dollars and fifty rate stamp that came out in that set of five. Canada's storytellers, Alice Munro. There's her stamp. Your proper focus on it without the glare of the plastic that's covering the stamp. Finding Franklin. In 1845, British explorer Sir John Franklin led an exhibition, exhibition of two ships and 128 men in the heart of what is now the Canadian Arctic. You can see the route. And you can see the stamps.
poor ship is not looking so well there. Long may she reign. There's Queen Elizabeth II. No longer on the throne as her passing, but her son now. Beautiful stamp. The Haunting Histories of Canada. Oh, we got a black row. These were really cool stamps. Telling haunting stories in different parts of Canada. The Breakman of Gastown in Vancouver, British Columbia. The Halifax Citadel National Historic Site. The Red River Oxcart in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And it all comes down to these stamps. And then a story yet to be told. This is the uh, community stamp that came out, the foundation for Canada Post. So if you see P, that means that uh, it's a domestic rate stamp. So right now that would be worth 92 cents. The plus 10 was a donation you were making to the uh, community foundation to help out charities. That's what that stands for. The ultimate goalies. Martin Brodeur of the New Jersey Devils. And we are going to go through some of the best goalies that have come out to stand between the pipes. I can imagine being a goalie not wearing a mask. Everybody was not wearing masks, not wearing helmets. And then it went to what we have today. And this is what came out. Ken Dryden, Johnny Bauer, Bernie Perron, Martin Brodeur, Gump Worsley, and Tony Esposito. Some of the legends of hockey that stayed between the pipes. Come let us adore him. So these are the Christmas stamps. Or the Christmas stamp that came out in 2015. Right there. And then we have these ones here that also came out. These three. The polar bear, the moose, and the beaver. All dressed up for winter. And that is 2015 in an album. Pretty nice. Did you see any stamps that you hadn't seen before going through that? Um, maybe these are some of the ones that are in your collection. Maybe you found ones that you thought you had a complete collection and didn't realize there was one more in that set. Or uh, maybe you don't have the international rate stamp but you had the domestic or vice versa. Um, yeah, it's kind of a neat way to, to see it. I know you can go to a Scott catalog and look exactly what comes out. Uh, I like to be able to see uh, the images right in front of you. So I want to thank my father once again for his dedication to the hobby and uh, having such a, a complete collection uh, to be able to show them off and uh, to share them with everybody else that's out there. What is next on the list? Well, there is going to be some stamps coming out in August. So I'm looking forward to showing you what those are, the newest releases from Canada Post. I don't have an exact date when they come out yet, so I can't tell you when that's going to happen. But uh, we had a stamp release uh, mid-July, so I'm thinking maybe mid-August the next set of stamps will be coming out. So stay tuned for that. There's also some other stamp things that are coming up. And I think I'm probably going to have a giveaway coming up too. I just recently passed the 900 subscriber milestone. And uh, so we're growing. And uh, so part of that, I want to say thank you. So I'll be having a giveaway. So I'm going to make sure that... Uh, you're a subscriber, you like, you comment, and you share with someone else. That's how we're going to run it. And uh, I just got to put together what I, what I want to do as my giveaway. But that's coming up, so stay tuned. Other than that, have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?